lot of times I see the patients that come back either non-operative treated or they're operatively treated. Most times, as I said before, our goal is to try to get the patient back to the level that they were prior to actual injury. Sometimes we can get very close, other times we try to get as close as we can. Some patients do have post-operative complications that will limit them and restrict them as far as motion or function and activity level. Some people actually do have a career change in which they are more sedentary or they have to exist at a lesser level. The goal of surgery and the goal of non-operative treatment is again try to get the patient back to their best possible status. Frequently, I will tell patients that the actual healing time is approximately one year after you either have surgery or non-operative treatment. It does take that long, and this is scar tissue to mature, to actually see exactly how much strength you have, how much motion you have, and how much function you have. Frequently, the last 10 months, as I explained to the patient, this occurs at a cellular level, and usually we know what's even going on. Most acute events are usually the first two to three months, either after non-operative treatment or an operative intervention. At that particular time, the patients usually have a pretty good idea as to what their status is, and most frequently, patients are getting back to their functionality that they had attained prior to their injury.